and turn this around. Can you see this with a super on it? So I'm going to take the super off and put the box. Right, there's a feather at the minute. That's good. Going in. Clean it smoother. Check, make sure there's no cleaning in here. You're looking for clean. Clean on here. I'm using water to spray them down, cool them down a bit. Clean should be up the top here. Take them to see if we need. I've basically done a three and a half pod. Uh, bring my new combs to put some frames in to make it easier. everywhere so I'm just going to pop these in there, put them in there, they have got a lot of space, I like to have a newt next to me and I can just transfer them over it makes it like a lot easier, so can you see what I'm doing here, it's a lovely brew pattern, beautiful lay, I've given them more space because they're running out fast, I'm looking for a queen obviously, I'm looking, for, looking for queen cells as well. I mean, I don't think they were swarmed just yet because I gave them all the space. There's a lot of drones in there. So what we got here then? Just so you can see. Because there's no queen on here. These are drones. See that? They're drones. They're big, big eyed boys. Those ones. Those ones. They're drones. That's capped brood. There's some bait, there's not any babies in here. Oh, there is. Actually, there's some babies in here. So, I don't know. Let's see right into there. I don't know how big the camera is, but there's some babies in there. Lovely temperament. It's good. Uh, they have a lot of honey stores, so actually, they really should start taking the honey up into the um, super I put on the other day because this is a complete waste of space. So I tend to butt the frames up together so you don't squash so many bees at the same time. And also I check the dark side of the hive, dark side of the frame first. Oh that's beautiful. So this brew pattern's lovely, beautiful laying queen, where is she? She's gorgeous. Healthy, healthy brood, healthy looking bees. We came through winter in my garden. They're making quick pay cups now, so they are looking probably. It's warming, I'm just checking to see if there's anything in there. Uh, all looking beautiful at the minute. I've still got a little bit of space left, but I would suggest that they need to move the honey up into that honey super because if they don't, they're going to run out of space. I'd like to find clean up here, really. I'm actually not going to go through this hive because I can see that freshly they brood. I can see they've got a little bit of space still to go. I would like to, but what I want to do when I come in here next time is find the queen and take her out and split the side because right now it's a bit late in the day. I don't need to know where the queen is because I know she's here. This is where they would be putting the queen cells. So Put this empty frame back in there. That's a whole frame they need to fill still. Another empty frame, whole frame to fill still. Oh, the buggers, so they're all going into the corner, so there's a lot of bees in here. These bees are all from that hive, so. The girls.
he's still got a bit of space, so I'm not actually going to worry too much about these bees. I would suggest that next time I come in here, I'm going to have to split this hive because it's so big. I did give him that extra space this time, and that's why I did it. Is that the way, sweeties? I actually use water a lot to get them down. Come on, down you go, down you go, down you go. Pull them down a bit. It's better. So Queen Exclude is on there. Oh, this is empty. This is almost empty, super. So we haven't brought the honey up yet because we're going to need more space soon. 